Shout outs to the man himself. A Ward is in the building. Oh, the goat. Hey. The goat. Jesus. We ain't, we ain't Jesus. here, man. Y'all can hear me all oh, right? Man. Jesus. Come on, man. Can, real quick, to every, yes, everybody, sir. Can everybody in the spaces, please give a round of applause with the emojis, whether you have Ward, whether hey, you're losing you. Ward, the amazing battle. Hey. Everybody, round of applause. Hold on one second, baby. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hey, baby. No, sorry. I'm in the back room, the private room at KOD right now. Let me look. Private. Hold on. <laughs> now, I'm playing, now I'm playing with y'all. <laughs> He got them yeah, trippers. He got them trippers back up. Oh, you gotta relax. No. Okay, well, Ward, I have so many questions for you, but I'm gonna start here, bro. Yeah. What was going through your mind after that first round? I need to know. So this is so this is what it feels like to die. That's what I was thinking. I was like, so this is <laughs> like, bro, I'm gonna tell you, like, that's the that's the best round I ever stood in front of, and like, I I, I know that like I'm a competitor, but I've never had somebody spit around so crazy where I said I don't think I can win this round. You know what I mean? Because I do rebuttals and I'm I'm able to like strip people of their energy and powers, but like, I'm like, yo, I, you, you know, friends, you know, like I wrote uphill. I've I've been saying like I wanted to write uphill. I wanted like two and three to be the best. And so I'm like, yo, he just had like a, the best round I've ever stood in front of. And I know my first is my lightest round, even though I like the materials. I'm like, dang, I got to crawl up out this box or it's going to get dark real quick. Yeah, boy, it was on your ass like back pockets, boy. I ain't going to lie to you, my boy. <laughs> Dog, when I tell you, man, the, the Chardonnay, the NCAA, the uh, – what do you say? Um – uh, it ain't gonna see Aaron live. He was shot previously, like Ter- bro, Terminal Two. God. Like you, you try to make a gumbo pot of all those haymakers Jesus in the rebuttal from the first round. <laughs> yeah, I try to put a collage together of of <laughs> of like. Yeah, I heard you, bro. Don't think I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a disrespectful shoot a Christian with a nail gun. Oh, that is that was so wild. Bad. That, that was, was so crazy. crazy. <laughs> Yo, he said a one dot crazy. for a um teacher. Oh my, that gosh. was crazy. I nigga looked at Dottie and said something about the. Nah, I nigga looked at him like Django. I never seen you on a horse before. Yeah, dog. Hey, you know, you know what's bad? Nah, like, yeah. uh, so my best friend and my little brother were were, were there with me tonight. You know, and it, it, when you turn it around and your brother's handing you water and like his face is like. Yo, bro, it's, it's gonna be all right, you know. Like I promise, you know. <laughs> and then you look in the crowd, and my best friend is just like, "Oh my gosh, his eyeballs are all big. Like you getting smoked." I'm like, "Oh dang, this is rough." Nah, you had your own though, bro, because a lot of niggas would have died up there. Like, Super. Oh no, yeah, every everybody would have died tonight. No, I actually, I, like, oh, I actually feel like I won the battle. I think it's a debatable battle. I think it was one one clear going into third, but I think. Uh, I think, you know, like, it's, it's a debatable, crazy, crazy battle or whatever. So, after that first, though, like you said, like, some people could have just folded, you know? Um, oh, my. Folded like laundry. Though. Yep. You was in that. Big yep. Queen. Yo, I'm the rapper tonight, Katie. I'm the rapper tonight. Keep your metaphors to your oh, time. Oh, you got it, my homie. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Okay. Cool. <laughs> 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 no, that's my guy. <laughs> Love you, KD, man. I appreciate you, for real. Hey, I, I, I want to so you get your back end all in ones, though. Tell us the truth. No, so I put all my out. ones in her back end. <laughs> No, man, yeah. I'm glad you reminded me. Let me send this cash app request. I got up out of there, man. I wasn't trying to spend my uh spend, spend my money. Let's uh let's uh let's take the people behind the curtains for a second, Ward. <laughs> Don't say that after, after I just left the strip club, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you and you and Nitty had this like giant hug after the battle. What was the conversation like between you and Nitty after the battle? It was we just did that. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, like we're competitors. Like yeah, I'd love to like clearly win battles and stuff like that. But for the culture and for the for the the, the brand, it, I mean that's what you want. You want to be like. The one of the best in the world to be on their A game and you just to go to war with them, you know? And uh that's what it was. It was just like, bro, we we you know, the pressure of this being like one highly anticipated battle of the year. That's all kinds of pressure. You want to give the fans what they want. Then like two ba- yeah. two of the main card battles drop off and you're like, dang, it's a fifty dollar pay per view, it's a seventy five dollar entrance fee. It's like, man, I gotta make up for that now. That's how I feel. I got when people walk out, I want them to be able to say Dang, it, it it was expensive, but dog, I saw one of the best battles live I've ever seen. You know, and I think that that hug and everything at the end was like, bro, we can rest now. You know what I mean? Like, like great job, you did what you do, I do what I do, man, and 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 it's a beautiful thing. I don't think they get that, bro. Like, not saying like people, but when but when other battles fall off the card, that like puts pressure on the main event to come through and give your money. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like when we battle, like it did that. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a 
a relief of like, nigga, we didn't pull it through. You know what I'm saying? But not nah, good shit. Tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For my mother. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll open up the floor to all of the speakers here. Anybody has any questions for the Christian man, Mr. A. Ward? Hey, France, tell you what. I got a question. Yes. I got a question for you. Praise God. Okay. So when you listening to him rap, is he giving you <clears throat> more difficulty to come up with a rebuttal because of the rate of his punches? That's a great question. And yes, um, and it's actually a fun thing because I'll hone in on something that I think I can rebuttal and then I'll miss the next like eight to 12 bars because I'm trying to formulate it in my head. So when I get to go back and watch the footage, like there's a lot of stuff I'm probably going to hear for the first time because I was just in my head trying to figure out how I was going to do, you know, Pearly Gates, 38s or whatever, or, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, but yes, because he's punching at a high rate and you want to flip some of the better ones. So if I'm thinking of a rebuttal and the next thing I know he hits a haymaker that I didn't catch or whatever, then I'm kind of like at a loss there. But, um, you know, I try to I try to just prioritize them. I give myself about 15 seconds. If I don't come up with a rebuttal, I scrap it and listen to something else. And I'm just like, all right, you know, most of the time the rebuttals come pretty quickly. It's just about like uh, formulating how you want to deliver them. I appreciate you answering that. I wish you was in here a little while ago when people was giving your flowers. Uh -huh. Like some of us got Ron winning the battle, some yeah. of us got you winning the battle. But um, all in all, we feel like it was a win for the culture, and just the way that you did not fold after that first round was Thanks. really incredible. And shout out to you for you know making your own lane in the culture, Thank you. man. Like Thank you. I feel like you you negotiate what you want to negotiate and you get what you supposed to get and I just fuck with you, you. and just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, you know, much respect to like what URL does and everything but sometimes going against the machine is tough you know what I mean? And it's tough to stay relevant it's tough to like put on these big battles and just like kind of like you know, to, to, to keep yourself up there, you know, and that's why I just take pride on to be a pro professional, you know, and one thing that he said to me afterwards, he's like, we made this count, you know what I mean? And I know we talk about how old he, they, mm. the battles don't count don't off a URL or whatever, you know, and some people try to strip me of my wins and say like, man, Ill Will gave you a C plus performance because it wasn't on URL or Geechee gave you the this, that they always try to dis discredit me. But like Nitty was like, we made this count, you know, it's, it's on Riot, this battle counts, you know, like I, I perform my tail off. He performed better than he does on URL sometimes. And so that was one of the conversations we had, too, after we, like, embraced. It was like, bro, we made this count. Like, we, we did it, you know? Yeah, salute to y'all. I, Thank I you. love that. I want to go to some of the other hands here. Warren, it's funny you say that. Like, I think it's because Nitty was in your shoes once upon a time, right? Like, we, we love from Nitty who he is now. He's number one battle rapper on the app. But once upon a time, long ago, everybody forgets, this man has a whole King of the Dot catalog where he, when he tried to come to URL, they literally told him at the time, it was Norbs, not the URL people in there now, it was Norbs. He told him, we have B-Magic. Why yeah. do we need you? Yeah. Like, that That sounds insane to hear now. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Definitely. So, here. Yeah. He, un he understood exactly where you were coming from, so I, I think that's why he appreciated it. Uh, Small, go ahead, man. You have your hand raised. What's your question for Ward? Yeah, better. I'm going to pop out after this one, but I just wanted to give uh, Ward his flowers real quick. Uh, about a year or two ago, man, yeah, um, I was even skeptical, and what you showed over the last two years, and even going back before that, I was able to appreciate the work. It's, it's top of the world stuff. With or without URL is a silly conversation at this point. I think you cemented yourself as a one of the best battle rappers in the world, and I think you put on a classic tonight. And I just want to ask, uh, before I head out, you've had some wars at this point. Ill Will, uh, Geechee Gotti on two separate occasions, the second obviously being the better battle. Where do you rank this amongst uh, some of the hardest battles that you've taken in your career? Do you think this is, has been the most challenging battle you've taken up to this point? Yeah, I don't want to be the prisoner in the moment, but I think this is like the first time I ever thought I was losing a battle, like really, you know what I mean? Like maybe against DNA when I was like on my eighth battle ever on pay-per-view on King of the Dot where I was like, ooh, he's getting crazy reaction. This is a different level of battling and stuff like that. But, you know, a lot of times what I do is I, I try to go back to the paper and I feel like I beat paper, beat people on paper a lot of times. But when, when you have a guy like Nitty, who's the best punchline rapper ever, it's like you can't even go back to the paper. Like that was literally one of the best clips or whatever i've ever heard you know and so um yeah i think this i think i don't want to be a prisoner in the moment but i think this is definitely my toughest battle i've ever faced yeah there you have it man small salute to you bro appreciate you thank, thank you thank for me up tonight man yeah thank you smoke take care bro you truly won and mm -hmm. you definitely show that it's not it's no longer can he stand in the url stage you you've done it and you and you prove yourself 
that to me is a beautiful thing, man. A salute to you on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. You know, like I like what the what the guy said before is like I was skeptical, man. One of the things I want is I want to earn people's, you know, like, yo, he's really out here doing it. I don't want people just to automatically like me because maybe I'm Christian or I'm uh, not URL or whatever. Like, I don't people liking me for just reasons that don't have to do with my talent, you know. And so like to have people say like, yo, I wasn't sold at first, but, you know, and that's that's kind of why I keep working hard is to just kind of like prove to people like I promise you, like. You might not like me, but nobody's going to outwork me and nobody's going to out professional me and nobody's going to out like care about the culture and delivering, you know, on a high level every time anybody books me. I love it, man. Love to hear it, man. We got uh, Draco with his hand raised. Draco, what's the word, my guy? What up? What up? Hello again, friends. Uh, A word. Incredible stuff, man. Um, I just want to say just congratulations for all your success, man. Um You've been killing it, obviously, and tonight tonight was no different. Um, the question that I had for you, though, was in the face-off, you said you're you're pretty sure you're going to be leaving this battle with about four or five lines that Nitty said to you that are going to be like, what the fuck? Dude, what what were those, right? Any any come to mind immediately? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. The NCAA, you know, I'm a sports bar king. The NCAA, to me, was ridiculous. The Chardonnay was ridiculous. The Django was ridiculous. The uh, man, there's yeah, there's a lot of them, bro. So Even many. the Steve McNair, it could have been used, but it's just like the, I look, bro. That was so crazy, um, man. There's just so much that he said, bro. Like a whole lot. I have to go back and watch it because I know I missed some. But yeah, I mean, a lot of times when I go from battles, I can only think of a line or two from my opponent. You know, like Diddy, like when they when they stick and they hurt. You remember them. <laughs> you remember where they punched you at. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a, a fact, man. Moni, go ahead, man. You got your hand raised. Oh, um, hey, Ward. Um, What's up? You know, I'm a big fan. You already know. You already but, know. <laughs> I'm a fan of you. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I was going to ask was, um, I mean, maybe you're, like, still trying to, like, celebrate your win but have you thought about like what battles you want next yet? And if so, like who do you want next? Um, you know, I'm going on a poetry tour starting uh, starting next week. So ten ten weeks of off battle rap, which uh two months away from battle rap for me is like a year for normal people. So um, you know, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to kind of clear my head. I've locked in a battle with RBE already that's supposed to happen in the winter. So mm. I'm excited about that. So I got a, that battle locked in. And like I told uh, most people, like, I signed a two-battle deal with the Riot. So I'm really trying to, you know, I don't know when they're going to do their next event, but I'd love to have T-Top, you know, come out and make his Riot debut. And we could do that um, on a Riot maybe in the winter as well. And then I battles contacted me about the Real Sick battle, you know, and they really want to make that go down before the end of the year too. So, um with the, the resume I have so far, with Nitty being my 17th battle, with having names like Kitchen Clean, Reed Dollars, QB, Rum Nitty, Don Marino, you know, KD, MVP, all these. Like, I've had a really good year. To be able to end it with that RBE battle, maybe a sick battle, and maybe like a Riot T-Type battle, I think that'll that'll put together a really, really nice resume for, for 2022. An amazing resume. Oh, yeah. Amazing resume. KD, you don't got to raise your hand, man. What's up, bro? Oh, uh, no, nah, I was actually, hold on, first thing first, what do you mean maybe you're a Christian? What do you, what do you mean by that? Like, what, do you, <laughs> what did you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? When I said maybe what? Maybe you Christian. But nah, it's I didn't say maybe I'm Christian. <laughs> nah, it's a, but no, nah, I just wanted to, actually, I was going to give you your flowers, man. You actually have had a hell of a year from from us to the QB to motherfucking Reed Dollars, my nigga, you, my guy, you've been pushing, like, for real, for like, everything. Thank you, bro. But, like, bad, listen. Battling Geechee, if I thought battling Geechee in his own backyard was difficult, my nigga, you, you just, I think, you even if a motherfucker was to say you lost the battle, I think you won so much respect, bro, and I just think that yeah. right there is way more than what you can put on a resume, if that yeah. makes sense to you, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, he was that, definitely up there firing your ass up, I ain't gonna lie, to you, <laughs> like smacking a war like Jada fought, that, he was... I didn't like that bar. I didn't like that bar. You didn't like that bar? Listen. No, because he said the only time we ever seen Smack in an award show, right? Right. Right. And I'm pretty sure Smack was on the BET Awards when they had battles, right? Oh, my God. So in my mind, I was like, no, we seen Smack in an award show before. (laughs) 
Yeah, you got it, Ward. Okay. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know it. what? Though the bar was creative and fire, but you know, like the 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 nitpick, no pun intended. Me nitpicking, I want to be like, nah, we seen smacking the Ward shows before. Yeah, I, I fuss with that. Listen, because listen, when it, listen, because when you told me I wouldn't pick you if we were setting the screen, I was tapping MVP. He said I was good though. He, <laughs> That's a fact. That's <laughs> a fact. Hey, yo, KD, yo, KD, you ever gave somebody their flowers and they just took two of the flowers back with you? Yeah. Like I feel like right now. <laughs> It's I feel like you like, yo, Ward, I got dozen. you, bro. Hey, yo. I'm, I'm going to take these. <laughs> this, this ain't a dozen. No, you good. I'm cracking the base. No, nah, man. Hey, yo, I, I take one more. I'm about to get out and go do karaoke. So if you see any videos on, on, on Twitter or whatever of uh, friends in low places, just know it's about to get crazy. <laughs> Before we get your last question, you know what's one bar that Nitty really liked from you? The whole, uh, that's why I picked you first, the alternate. That's why I brought it all for Nit. We use these yeah. ball, ball of yarn. I got it all for Nit. <laughs> yeah. Weapons they can alternate or bless yeah. us at the alternate. Ooh, yeah. ooh, crazy yeah. shit. Ooh. He liked that shit. Yeah, 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 man. I was just trying to find ways to flip Nit creatively, man. I didn't want to do like the normal stuff, you know? I watched him at R&B, and one, one line I really liked from Real Name Brandon, I think it was a bonnet bar, where he said something about a bonnet, right? So Nitty. And I was like, dang, I never thought about like like the the N E T or the N A T E at the end of words being able to be flipped effectively like that. You know, you're oftentimes just thinking of that N I T or knit a sweater, knit this. And so when I when I heard it, I was like, oh, I gotta open my mind to different ways to flip this. And that's when I came up with like alternate knit, you know what I mean? And so it worked out real good. All right, you know, I'll close off with the last question for you, Warren, so you can go to enjoy your evening. I'll yeah. say this, man. Uh, you know how I feel about your Talents, but I'll put it in paper. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna move around. I'm moving around opinion. I'm putting it in paper. All right. You're a four time perennial top twenty battle rapper. You've had a top ten battle of the year on the list the last four years in a row. You battled names. I don't know. You know, Gucci Gotti. You heard of him? Charlie Cliffs, Ill Will, O Red, Ill Mac. Should I keep it going? Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Should I keep it? Yeah. Should I keep it going? Oh, you know, Rum Nitty, uh, Clean Paper. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal. Should I keep it going? It, it, the list goes on of names that you've had. You know what I'm saying? At this point. What do you say to somebody that still does not believe? Uh, do you believe? No, I, I say, um, man, I mean, it just got to be a hater, right? Or I guess it just got to be like, it's got to be something that's not specific to my talent. You know, maybe somebody don't like my voice or somebody just don't like, you know, white rappers oh. or Christians or something. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell them. Like, if I ain't earned your respect yet, it's very, it's very unlikely that I'm going to do anything next year that's going to be like you know what all right those last two were a fluke but this one was crazy you know so i just take it with a grain of salt man like uh i always uh a poet told me one time the only thing i need validation for is parking and i've always held on mm. to that you know what i mean okay. um you know validate my parking ticket but as far as like you know what you feel about me or how you, you view me or whatever like that's with the birds man comparisons a thief of joy and i refuse to live a life like that so my brother, man, go ahead and enjoy the rest of your weekend right, at ATL and, and, and enjoy that PIA tour the next 10 weeks. I know it's going to be some great stuff there. I already know, man. Love y'all. Be good. Love you too. Uh, Praise God. Salute. Uh -huh.